another, another ASMR, ASMR video. In this video, I am going to imagine yourself experiencing a dream that I had last weekend. So last weekend, I had a dream where I was working at my job where weird stuff happened that's totally out of the ordinary. All right. So, of course, there will be tinkles with noises and quiet talking. Okay. So let's begin. Let's begin. Okay. So, your dream starts. Okay. Imagine yourself working at a restaurant, okay? There is a Dunkin' Donuts that you are working. Like you are working at a Dunkin' Donuts restaurant, okay? So, it's a restaurant that sells donuts, okay? And coffee. At least I had a cold drink there, so it was okay. Okay, so you are working the evening shift, okay? You're working at evening shift, and your shift is going by smoothly. You are taking a few orders, okay? Someone wants like a few donuts. And another one wants a cold, cold, cold slushy, okay? And it's pretty normal. It's, it goes very smoothly until at that point you are experiencing weird things. So, as you take more and more orders, you realize that you are all by yourself. You will realize that your coworker has vanished. So, in your dream, you would normally, in your dream world, as you're working, you are normally, you would normally work with someone else. So two people in the evening shift. And the restaurant is usually not busy. So like, if I could give you an estimation of how, of how busy it is, you would be receiving customers or clients every five minutes, like one client every five to ten minutes. And, and, okay. And you would normally get a few big orders, but you would normally get, yeah, I meant this, you would normally get small orders like a few donuts and coffees but you would sometimes get big orders so in your dream world you are a regular employee that's been working night shift and usually working with another person but in this particular night in your dream world you happen to work with a coworker who suddenly disappears and you are all by yourself, working alone. So you are the only employee, and you are working night shift. So this place that you are working is open 24 hours. So this restaurant doesn't close. So as you are working, you start to notice that alongside that your coworker has vanished, 
you notice that the tables are also getting dirty all of a sudden like they were clean before you remember that you have wiped the tables that you have wiped the tables earlier when your coworker was still around and now they are all dirty all of a sudden with match a lot of dirt it was super dirty there is like tissues everywhere and there was like puke everywhere happens but the thing is that you have not seen any puke someone did not like you have not seen remember seeing a diner like a anybody taking a puke or vomiting or throwing up and you just happen to see the dining room all dirty and messed up okay okay and you try to look for your coworker to come and try to ask for help to start cleaning the dining table and the layout but your coworker isn't here for some reason he just vanished and you know for the fact that he's supposed to stay until like until a certain time where you leave okay so like your coworker shouldn't be punching out or ending his shift until you are done but somehow he's gone your coworker is a he though so now with all the tables dirty you try to ask the other the restaurant that's adjacent to you oh so so this restaurant that you that you are working with in Imagine you are in Dunkin' Donuts. So in this building, there is this Dunkin' Donuts that you are working in that dream state. But there is another restaurant that's in the same building to your right. Let's call that McDonald's or any other restaurant that sells french fries or hamburgers. So imagine it's McDonald's, so like that. So, 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 so you try to ask the staff at McDonald's beside you and they seem to not care. They seem to just ignore your struggles and you are only by yourself. You are stuck alone with a workplace that's really dirty okay and so do you know what else happens there's this customer who comes in and starts puking everywhere now you are seeing someone puking all of a sudden the guy that came the guy that came wasn't a regular customer He's a totally, he's a totally, he's a totally. He's a totally new customer that you have never seen before. And so, and all of a sudden he's been creating a big, 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 big flood made out of puke maybe like all of the coffees or saucy foods he has consumed but the the weirdest reason is it's just that how can he produce so much puke that it ends up flooding the whole restaurant that's more than he can store in his body that he can hold in his body he is not even fat He's just a normal looking person, not overweight, not overweight, okay? And this guy is basically puking nonstop for like a few minutes 
until this whole restaurant building is filled with brown liquid or something. It's pretty, pretty disgusting. And the whole thing starts to smell like crazy. So now with the rooms all filled with puke or something, now the next thing that happens is that you whoops the next thing the next thing that happens is the fact that you've got people that are after you all of a sudden there is someone who is coming towards you like it goes through he goes through the front door and instead of trying to order something he jumps at you and you happen to avoid him by ducking like he jumps over over the register and tries to tackle you and you tried to avoid him and then afterwards there's another guy that happens to come from the kitchen and instead of coming from the front he comes from the back through the kitchen and it happens to be the same guy i don't know why but after this guy that jumps over the register over the register over the register he seems to like teleport back to the kitchen or something to the back door and try again to ambush me What else happened is that he tries to attack me with his puke or something. And it looks like he's trying to attack me with the same puke, the same kind of liquid that comes out. The same thing that comes, the same substance coming out from the bat. The other guy who, nor who did all the puking and ended up there which made a restaurant all flooded with puke. So this guy, you have this guy in the front, I mean, in the dining room, all puking, making it floody. And then you've got this guy attacking, attacking you from the back. And now you are almost, you almost got hit by the puke. And you try to rush to your, the other restaurant and try to get help. But afterwards, you don't remember what else happened. Like everything seems to be blurry until you go outside and you see that it is raining super, 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 super hard. Like it is not raining, but like not just raining lightly, and, but not even like heavy rain. It's not even like just like a normal heavy rain but it was like literally showering like non-stop a lot of, as if you were taking a shower as if you're taking a shower but outside that's how heavy it is and you see some flooded water like the roads are starting to fill with flood and all of a sudden it just seems to blank out you wonder, you wonder, you wonder what else happened after, but unfortunately, the dream starts to kind of fade out and you happen to wake up. So, you wake up in a really hot room and it seems that the room is like pretty humid i should say the thing that the thing that it is the reason why the reason why it is humid is it humid is it because is because is because in reality you wake up right before lunchtime 
like it's right before 12 and and now you've got a hot day to get through so that is the end of your imagination experience so i hope you guys enjoyed this imagination experience yes i had this dream i woke up in a pretty hot room because at that time it was super super duper duper hot last weekend it was steaming hot like the second week ish of august or something it was super hot and super super duper humid so if you got your asmr tingles give this video a thumbs up if you if you happen to find little a little glass of milk hidden in the video please give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below the timestamp of where you spot the glass of milk and so stay tuned for the next video and I will see you next time.